and a woman, woman, woman in every way. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day. Yeah, yeah. Are you in Welcome every to Every Way Woman. woman. There are some major changes happening in the talk show world. Live from Los Angeles, here's Every Way Woman. Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So I was talking to our producer, Yolanda, the other day, and she was saying to me, it is so hard to be a woman. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I, and what, yeah, I see it all over your face. <laughs> but, I mean, okay, so yeah, it might be hard uh, to look like this. Yeah. Rosanna's new uh, cover. This woo! takes, how many, hours, how many hours did it take you to look like this? Well, because I did it, and I do makeup, so it was quick. <laughs> but my, my whole, you know, opinion about it is look at my face like mm -hmm. women have to put on makeup i mean i don't know how long it takes you guys sometimes um, it takes a woman to get ready in two hours well for me I mean, you know i'm just an eyeliner kind of person so it yeah. takes me two minutes but, yeah, but, beautiful but, face. but there's all these expectations of women generally in our culture to not only maintain our faces <laughs> and our hair and our nails and our skin mm. that that's a lot of work and it's expensive it yes is. um but i think it, yes you're absolutely right and then there's on top of that, which is self care. Then mm -hmm. there's care for the family if you have kids, and there's care for your parents if you know if you have parents that need mm -hmm. taking care of. Then there's care for the husband or boyfriend if you're married or dating someone. So you gotta be the caretaker and look good. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, that's a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> and if you are caring for someone and they want you to look good while right. you're caring for them, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I, I actually dated a young man once. Very briefly, I might add, um, because <laughs> a briefly, briefly. <laughs> that's, that's intentional because he basically, he communicated, after we've been dating a few months, he communicated what he was looking for in a wife. Wow. Now, one of the reasons he was attracted to me was because, you know, I'm, I'm educated, I'm intelligent, you know, I have multiple graduate degrees. That's some, that is something that drew him to me. Mm -hmm. And then when he turned around and told me what his expectations were with, for his wife, um, he basically wanted the madman treatment. I mean, he specifically said, I want her to greet me with a drink when I come home. Wow. Um, we, went to a, we went to a function and his friend's wife brought the husband a plate. Wow, look at such and such. It, would be, it sure would be nice if I could get a plate. And so he wanted, and he let me know that his plan for housework included gardening and cars. Okay, what's wrong with that, that, the bringing the plate though? Well, you know what? I, I don't have a problem with it because, quite frankly, I will fix my man a plate, no mm -hmm. problem. But the way he it was, was looking for it, there was the an expectation, it. and mm -hmm. it was the servitude, the, the level of servitude he was expecting because mm -hmm. it's that built in with everything else. And right. I think that's part of what's happening now in society as well is that men want us to be everything mm -hmm. because yeah. and because they're like wow well, wow you can you say you can be everything be everything go out Super and work woman. get a career yeah. be and, a mom and by the this, way you that. won't have any Wait time on, to have sleep already. because mm -hmm. you, there's just no time in the day to do it all and it's hard mm -hmm. to do it all mm -hmm. do you guys sleep the mom, you don't the mom you know what i try to sleep like i got on my husband i said look man you want me to cook you want me to clean wash these kids and then do it to you mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole lot that is a whole lot. You know, sometimes like that commercial, I do be like, I need to know, I got a migraine, baby, not tonight. Right. But you know what, though? <laughs> and you got to do it with a smile on your face. Right. Right. Wait, okay, I want to know. I want to know. Yeah. Okay, well, we're kind of on the topic. Is it true that married couples like, schedule sex? Yes. You yes. Know? Sometimes. Like, um, when you yeah, have kids, yeah. when you have kids, okay, yeah. do you, you, like, you do have to mop my, my Say mom, Thursday? Like, yeah, you're like, Thursday, you know what? Thursday and nine. You know <laughs> and you just hope something happens. Right. She's yeah. like, she's well, like, or you can I'm like, I started dating someone regularly now, oh, and he has kids too, and I have kids, so we're only oh, we can only good. see each other every other weekend. You know what I do every other weekend, right? You <laughs> shake your butt. I don't want to know. You shake your butt. I don't want to know. know. <laughs> That's what you do. I don't but it, know. it takes a lot of work. I mean, you don't have kids, and you even have difficulty. Like, you don't sleep. I don't sleep at all. See, you don't sleep. That's why I was asking you. Do you guys sleep? Because you know the whole thing of perception that for me. To have children in a family, I think mm -hmm. being Latino, like one day I would want that mm -hmm. now, but growing up, I never did. Mm -hmm. I never did. I mean, you can ask me when the people that knew me when I was eight but, years but, old. Like, why, no why even covered. like were you thinking no? Because it was just too much I work, had, you know. I grew up in church, so I literally uh, was a missionary, 
Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of work. Not that bad. But my whole focus, my whole focus was, you know, just uh, religion, church, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like just God, you know. And I'm not saying that I lost God already. Mm -hmm. Like no, I think I think that you were being true to yourself. And sometimes mm -hmm. women have pressure to have children, have a family. I agree that we we can have that pressure put on us. You know what get on my nerves though? What get on my nerves is the fact that I'm sleeping on the couch and my kids they know like because they come to work with me they know mommy is sleeping and they're like ah boom 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 and I'm up here like oh trying to sleep. And then my husband can sleep on the couch. Yeah. And, and they don't silent. bother him. They don't yeah. bother him. He's well, just slobbing at the mouth. Nobody bothers him. But me, I get bothered with. I get told with. I'm taking you to work. I get you ice cream. And then all of a sudden, I'm still being harassed. Oh. But, but Cheryl, what about you? It's exhausting. Like, I mean, do, are you exhausted? Uh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, the, the hours I with work. multiple degrees? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I, that's you know, I sleep, I sleep now more than I'm finished with school, thankfully. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, the hours I work, you know, I mean, I have to be at work at 7.30. And even though I leave at 5.30, you know, there's so much that I carry with me because mm -hmm. a big part of what I do is solving people's problems. Wow. You know, that's not something you can just shut off at 5.30. Mm -hmm. And so that combined with, you know, life yeah. in general, but, yeah. you know, I think well, you can solve have... the world problems on a treadmill. That's what I try and do. We'll continue the conversation when I come back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. that's actually a good we'll place to back think. Back. Yeah. Very good place. <laughs> we'll be back with Everyday Fitness. Whether I'm just waiting or sitting at home, staying just to wash my clothes, I'm going to go and live my life. If that means working nine to five, because I'm an everyday woman. All right, if you're enjoying this just as much as I am, then stay with us. We're going to be talking about morning yoga right here on Every Way Woman. Madison is here to help you get your morning started right with a perfect yoga routine. So uh, what do I need to do? Because I definitely feel like I wake up and I'm go, 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 mm -hmm. and then I'm just like tired and stressed out. So what do I need to do to start my morning off right? Okay, well, we're going to start with a yoga in a chair, okay. having a seat. You're sitting down just before you eat breakfast, and you haven't quite moved your body just yet. Okay. Okay. All, All right. So go. we're gonna sit again at the edge of the edge of the chair, engage okay. the core. I started relaxing. Yes, I can't you're do already that. you're already relaxing, <laughs> meditating, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is interlace the fingers, and as you inhale, look up. Good. As you exhale, we're gonna open up the hands and reach for the toes. No, not everyone can reach for those toes. That's okay. You don't have to touch them. Just reach for them. Good. Okay. Pull the lower belly in. Let the head and arms hang and roll on up until your shoulders that feels are really good. Yeah. Oh, until your okay. shoulders are over your hips and fingertips up. It exhale. Open up the hands and again reach for the toes. Let's go. Let's try to reach for those toes. Good. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Roll up. Reach up. How many times do you exhale, do this? Reach for the toes. About three or four times. Okay. Just enough to get your breath settled and getting into your body. And inhale, we're going to take the hands up and then the hands to the heart. So we always bring the hands to the heart and that kind of just reminds us to move the day with gratitude. So when you have gratitude in your heart, it really opens up your energy and brightens up your energy. Okay? That's beautiful. <laughs> that really is. So we're going to take the right foot out and we're going to stick it out, toes okay. up. Okay. Be careful of, of hyperextending the knee. So what you want to do is put a slight bend in the knee and you'll find that it opens up the lower back. Okay. Okay, so we're going to exhale. We're going to roll forward and reach towards the toes or past the toes where, wherever it is that you go. And you'll find that. I'm close, I'm yeah. close. But what if, I mean, some people really couldn't even do this bend, right? But it's okay. So you can use your hand on your knee, you can put your hand on the floor, but you wanna think about reaching the top of the head towards the toes and keeping a slight bend in the back of the knee so that the lower Slots. back Thanks. opens up. Okay, and are you keeping the back flat? Is that really important? No, it isn't. Okay. It, it's more of just, it's more natural. Okay. You know, you're not really, working something out really hard. So you want to focus about getting into your breath and thinking about lengthening. Okay, we're gonna I'm going to be up. six feet tall <laughs> any day now. Good, roll it up. And we're going to switch to the other side just to make it even, okay? okay. But we're just going to take a couple breaths here. Otherwise, you'd be lopsided. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Tiny bend in the knee. Exhale, go ahead and take that reach forward. Again, you can reach past the foot, towards the foot. You can use your hand on your knee for support. 
and you want to have just the tiniest bend. So you can lengthen your leg a little bit more, and you're probably <laughs> going to feel that. Okay. Yeah. Where should I feel it? Um, most of the people will feel it here behind the back of the leg mm -hmm. or into the calf. And if you have a really tight lower back, sometimes you'll feel it here in the lower back. So what a lot of people don't know is the lower back and the hamstrings are like an old married couple. <laughs> They're like, they go together everywhere, but they're always fighting with each other. <laughs> so if one's, if one's grumpy, the mind's grumpy. A lot of grumpiness okay. back there. Good. So we're going to come on up, pull the lower belly in, and roll it up. Go ahead and bring that foot back in. So that's one way to go ahead and get the day started. Another thing you might want to do is get a nice rotation in the spine. So we're going to inhale, take the arms up. Take that right hand behind the chair, left hand just on the outside of that right thigh. Could lift the chest up. Okay. All just right. for a breath. And we're gonna finish off with the other side. Now can you hurt your back doing this? Um you can if you take that chair and you crank your spine around. It's, it's really just, just there for support. Okay. And you want to think about lifting that chest up so for the lower belly. So you're not like pulling yourself with this arm. No, you're not. You're just supporting okay. yourself. Okay. Good. We're gonna release, inhale, reach up. Exhale, come to that other side. Good, lower belly pulled in, lift your chest up, okay. relax and your shoulders. Is this mostly to just get the blood going and flowing, or what, what, what are you trying to accomplish? Um, yeah, you want to get the blood flowing, you want to move that breath through your body, kind of feel where you are in that body, and then we're going to finish, inhale, lift up, take the hands to your chest, and we're going to remember to move through the day with gratitude. With gratitude. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things to be thankful yes, for. Yes, there are. Okay. So you just do a little pause there and just, is it a good time to think about your day or is it better to like just clear your mind and not think about anything? No, it's a, it's a great time to go ahead and meditate and where you're going to take your day into. Okay, yeah. so that is a perfect routine because I really, I felt a lot looser already. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the whole point of it, right? Yes, it is. So do you have anything in particular that you like to work on? Well, you know, I definitely find in the morning I need to stretch this area out. And mm -hmm. it's the hardest area for me to stretch out. What do I do? Okay, so there's a couple of things that you can do that's really simple. Really quick, because I only got two minutes here, or two seconds here. We'll catch it on the next time. Okay, how about that? Because I really need to concentrate on that. Okay. But I think we have a great routine here where you can wake up in the morning. It's not too strenuous, but you can really just relax and, and think about your day. And I loved how you were like thinking about what to be grateful for. And we're grateful for you watching Everyway Woman. Everyday Kitchen is next with Everyway Woman. Whether I'm just waiting or sitting at home, staying just to wash my clothes, I'm gonna go and live my life. If that means working nine to five, cause I'm an everyday woman. Tequila for breakfast. Manji Rios is coming up next with her favorite French toast recipe. For bringing the bar home, we have Manji here from 88 Tequila that's gonna show us some simple, easy recipes you can do at home. I'm so excited, but okay, 88 Tequila here with orange juice. Girl, I know there has to be a story. Yeah, yeah. What, you wanna know what? how we went from tequila to breakfast? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so from all the different types of tequila, Añejo has the most flavor. We wanted to make sure that we took that and incorporated some other flavors into it that people could enjoy that's different from your typical lime and salt. Everybody does lime and salt, but why not play around with breakfast? Who doesn't enjoy breakfast? It's the most important meal of the day. <laughs> True, but the question is, do you actually drink this for breakfast? Can you? I would, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you could, you could to each his own. So <laughs> definitely, please show us how. Okay, so there's two different ways you can do the French toast. One is as a shot and one is at a, as a cocktail. Oh. So the shot is a shot of Añejo, so we can pour one more here if you like. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you that's how good here. it smells. Do, does it matter how much, or do you actually fill it up? I would go with the full shot. Why not? <laughs> that's my. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you've got your shot. Then you're gonna grab a wedge oh. of orange. Do I do one too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a wedge of orange, and then what, we're going. But does it matter what kind of oranges? Um, not really. We've actually done it with regular oranges. We've done it with blood oranges. So. You can pretty much do it with whatever you prefer, but these are probably the best to go with. These are the ones that are in okay. our recipe. So you can dip one side in the sugar. Okay, girl, what is that? 
<laughs> this whole thing what is this <laughs> um it's it's more for rimming glasses for different bars setups and things like that this one you can pick up at total wine it. and more anywhere um, okay but it's great for getting different things on the rim of your glass or doing things like this where you can incorporate fruit and seasonings to your oh so, okay 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 so you got sugar on one side and then you want some cinnamon on the other side and just shake it off because i don't think you want too much or it's going to get a little spice Try it. So then let me try it too. So like one side like this, mm -hmm. and then one side like this. Oh, yes. this is interesting. And you can also pre-mix the sugar with the cinnamon. Okay. Completely up to you. I just did it this way because it was simpler. Um. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the shot. And oh then... no. <laughs> <laughs> you're this in... is why I have Cheryl here with me. <laughs> so you take the shot, and then you try. The orange and it's gonna give you a fresh toast flavor with a kick. How is it? Not good. So different from the lime and salt. I have a question though. Is there something that you can substitute the cinnamon with if you don't like cinnamon? Because I'm not a big cinnamon person. But is that what makes it like breakfast? There, uh, the cinnamon <laughs> is kind of what makes it the French okay. toast. But you can definitely incorporate other things. We do. A lot of different things with fruit. Let's say if you want to spice it up, you could do the orange slice with some tahini. Tahini Ooh, is really big that. right yeah. now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and tahini's got so many flavors. You could do that and do a shot. Who thought of this? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hear this story. I, How did I, you think of this? <laughs> I've never been big on drinking straight liquor. I, okay. I'll do it because oh, it's yeah. in the moment. Just from the, yeah. Because you have you to know? be taking sips, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so I needed something else. And I'm so not a fan of like a tangy lime. I needed something sweet. So the orange was the route for me. Okay. Awesome. So then that's the first one. Okay. So let's do the second one. So now we're going to make it as a drink. So we're going to rim our glass first. So we have some lime juice in here. You're just going to dip a little bit. Does it have to be lime juice or can I use like a uh, real lime juice? Or is you it could real squeeze, lime juice? It is, it, it is it. real lime juice. It's just you could squeeze an actual lime yeah, into like it on the, or you okay. can buy it pre-concentrated. Pre and then you're just going to kind of twist it around here to get some sugar. And then you're going to twist in here a little bit. I just dab it because you got a lot of cinnamon in there. So now okay. you've got your Wait for me. Go just ahead. <laughs> so you do this. Mm -hmm. and then you do this. Okay. All right. Well, see, you did better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we're going to get a little bit of ice. Okay. And then what? And then we're going to get some orange juice. I'm just guesstimating, but you probably want to go with about like three ounces, depending on the size of your glass. Okay. And then we're going to take a shot. Pour that in there. Take a shot. And a slice of orange for extra flavor. And you and thought of this too, right? Well, it was another way to incorporate it, yes. <laughs> I love it. I All love right. it. Well, here, taster. <laughs> I won't remember my lines after. <laughs> Is it good? Well, girl, awesome. cheers to that. We'll be back with the next one. Coming up next, more Everyway Woman. Whether I'm just waiting or sitting at home, staying just to wash my clothes. I'm gonna go and live my life if that means working nine to five Cause I'm an everyday woman I'm an everyday woman Independent, no I'm meant to being an Everyway Woman is all about do-it-yourself. Today we have Yelena Milanovic to show us how to personalize your space. Thanks for being here, Yelena. Thanks for having me. I really need your help because my walls are bare because I'm so scared to put things up. So I need your help because I don't have a lot of cash to do this. Well, what can I do? The great thing that you could do, very inexpensive, you could go maybe to the flea market, maybe 99 cent store, just okay. find these random little frames like this. And what you could do is just take out the inside you could even get like tissue paper, cut it to size, okay. put it in the background, whatever. If you have little 
dresses of toys laying around. You could put that inside. These are gorgeous. Where do you yeah. find these? Well, these are some pieces that I had as a child. This so is I didn't, your Barbie dress, yeah, huh? Yes, so I didn't want to throw it away, so Absolutely. I thought maybe to preserve it, and I can use it as an artwork form. Barbie I can just, dress as well. Yeah. Look at these things. They're so, so cute. So I can put it in a frame and maybe do like a set of four, and then that'll create like a little art piece for me on my wall, which doesn't cost that much. And just put it in there like this. Oh and it creates gosh. like a nice little image. And I love how like, you know, it's not perfect, but yeah. it's perfect because it makes it even better. Well, you can do it any kind of way. So you can have it more centered. You could do it off to the side, however you choose. But it's a fun little project to do that's not and that expensive. look at all these different options. They're so cute. These are all your Barbie clothes? These are all Barbie clothes that I had as a kid. So oh even gosh. if you have children lying around. I wish like I could clothes. wear these. Um, what a, speaking of children, because mm -hmm. I actually have a little boy, mm -hmm. so this is perfect for you know girls and even women who are into fashion. It's true. What about for boys? What what can you do with for boys? For boys, maybe let's say if they have toy cars, you could get little shadow boxes, put that in there, preserve it for them. Um, even like GI Joe outfits, you can have that, place that in a frame for them, and just still kind of upgrade their room as they get older, and then save it so they don't. You're, You're giving me ideas because he has some amazing airplanes. Yeah. So I need to let him not play with them anymore. Well, <laughs> you can still let him, it, even if it's imperfect, that's the art of it. It's that's your true. child, it's a memory for you, and it's preserved. That's a great way to look yep. at it. Now, over here, you have some bringing the outside in. Um, this is great for parties, I would think, right? Yeah, this is a great way to freshen up whatever you have current inside your house. So basically what I did is I just took a frame, turned this over. Oh so my gosh. That's this is something cute. you had in your house <laughs> and it's been there forever. And instead of having like a fake, you know, plant thing, you could just go outside or the flowers that you have around your house, run out there, quickly put it inside the frame, and you could position the leaves however you want. Create but your like own three-dimensional. Like yep. it's, it's great. And it doesn't matter. And then you frame it with the rest, which you could buy this at IKEA, maybe also at a flea market for a dollar, maybe five dollars, whatever it be. And it just gives you a new updated quick fresh look. Well, so and forever. it's great because you know, a lot of times the reason I'm not framing a lot of my stuff, because I'm like, I don't have enough money to frame. The yeah. mats and everything are so expensive. Well, you don't have to have the mats. If you just like I said, just use the back of whatever you have that is, currently. That is a great idea. Together. Yeah, and it's whatever current you have in your house. You could just flip it, use it, and have it be. So Well, thank you so much for these ideas. Thank you and, for having me. And bringing in these cute little dresses. I wish we could wear them ourselves. I know. I wish I had these dresses. <laughs> and what about, can you put these on display otherwise? Like, can, do you have like little mannequins you can put them well, on? Well, what else you could do is maybe use a cork board and just simply use those mannequin pins. And you can use a cork board and just kind of pin them in a row that and is create another, a different kind of perspective of artwork. That so. is another great do-it-yourself project yeah. because, you know, when you're drinking the wine, all those corks <laughs> really add up. Exactly. It's so true. the cork board is a great idea yeah, to just create a cork board from that. And all right. Well, Yelena, thank you so much for giving us these ideas. And you're really going to help me. Uh, now I just need to do it myself, right? Exactly. <laughs> so right. Do it yourself. So. Well, thank you. Well, that's it for our show. Every Way Woman gives back to the community. So go to every everywaywoman.com and find out how you can match our donations of undergarments for needy kids. Thanks so much. We'll see you again. Whether I'm just waiting or sitting at home, staying just to wash my clothes, I'm gonna go and live my life. If that means working nine to five, because I'm an everyway woman. Everyway Woman gives back to the community. Go to everywaywoman.com to find out how you can match our donations of undergarments for needy kids. Thanks for getting to know Everyway Woman. This has been an Everyway Woman production. Whether I'm just waiting or sitting at home, staying just to wash my clothes, I'm gonna go and live my life. If that means working nine to five, cause I'm an Everyway Woman. I'm an everyway woman Independent, no I meant it It's no surprise Hard working 24-7 Man, I've got to tell them I'm an everyway woman Are you an everyway woman? I'm just waiting on sitting at home, staying just to wash my clothes. I'm gonna go and live my life. If that means working nine to five, cause I'm an everyway woman. I'm an everyway woman. Independent.
it, no I meant it, it's no surprise Hard working 24 7, man I've got a towel, I'm an everyday woman Are you an everyday woman? Just waiting on sitting at home, staying just to watch my clothes. I'm gonna go and live my life. If it means working nine to five.